welcome again day two uh basics week two yeah so without any further ado we'll just move on to our topics what we are going to cover today okay so i'm sharing my screen here one sec I hope my screen is visible to all of you. And uh, yeah, just bear the sound. There is some work going on uh, in my area. So you may get some background sound. So though the window is still closed, but there's still sound. So just bear with me. If I'm not audible, let me know. I'll speak a little louder. Yeah. OK, so welcome to session six day week two so i really appreciate i just want to know how many of uh you can't see the screen oh you can't see me fine okay now shruti okay hi all of you fine so i hope my screen is visible to you yeah so we'll move from the uh, we will talk about the today's topics that we are going to cover okay so in the last week we cover a lot of questions we also understood the tips and tricks part so today we are going to if this particular topic is the reading part yeah so complete the sentences yeah complete the passage and highlight the answers now what you need to do is don't worry about it we are going to talk about it details like what are the strategies and tips you need to follow so this is just I'm telling you what we are going to cover today. OK, so select the best option from uh, for each missing word. So there will be kind of a uh, filling the blanks kind of thing. There will be option given and you have to find out the right word for that. Complete the passage. So select the best sentence to fill in the bank blank in the passage. So there will be options given. It's like a MCQ multiple choice questions. So you have to choose the best option. And today's activity is going to be uh, thoroughly the practice part because yes, we want to make sure that during we you should utilize this particular session and it will help you uh, to understand it in a better way by doing the practice. Okay. And the third part is highlight the answer. So here you have to just click and drag and the you have to highlight the answer to the question below. Now this type of questions appears. Uh, twice or two times and time duration is seven to eight minutes. So let's begin with the first part, complete the sentence. So reading and speaking practice. Now how it happens, okay, so it is interactive reading. Now it is completely different than ILTS because in ILTS you get really very difficult passages, okay, because do I conduct ILTS coaching also? So I know the passages, especially when it comes to academics. So those are really difficult. Compared to that, this uh, practice is very easy. Now, what uh, exactly how the questions are there? So there are two interactive reading questions on which you get approximately five to six questions. Now, what type of passages are there now like ILTS there are they are not very lengthy passages okay these are very short passages now one is the narrative kind of passage which is like a story and it is other one is like expository so expository is nothing but like it is a more informational passage okay now seven to eight minutes for each whole passage yeah now, what do they check from here? Like literacy and comprehension, of course. Now, here, do, you don't have to analyze anything, but you have to analyze from the uh, uh, from the writer's point of view. Okay. Now, what are the types of questions you get here? So, complete the sentence. I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Can yes. you just put the message? It's visible, right? Yeah. Thank you. So now what type of questions you get here? So complete the sentence, complete the passage, highlight the answers, identify the idea, and title the passage. So we are going to talk about each type of question in detail, but it is more of a practice part. OK. OK, so all set for the practice. Don't worry, even if you get right and wrong. OK, we are talking about the tips part, and then we'll try it. 
So complete the sentence. Now complete the sentence ask you to select the best option for each missing word. So what exactly you need to put into that particular blank. Now in this task, you will see passage with several blank spaces. So you will get multiple uh, blanks, okay? Multiple uh, fill in the blanks where you have to select the correct word to complete that particular sentence. Now what you need to do is again, as I said, read the entire sentence read the passage so you will get to know what this passage is about okay use the context clues there are clues given also to help you determine the best word choice yes it could be some tricky or it could be you may notice that or right, this one is also matching this particular sentence is matching but as i said you need to think from the writer's point of view not from your point of view okay but then you have to choose the right option Read the passage once after you have completed this, after putting all the, uh, filling all the blanks, make sure that all the sentences are comprehensive and meaningful, okay? And once you can double check your answers, once you do that, you can complete answer sentences in order, why? Because the passage is connected with each other, okay? So it is not like only different sentences, so it, it is connected. So you won't be able to click next. Now here you have to take care of that unless and until you fill that particular blank, you won't be, or that gap, you won't be able to move further, okay? To navigate between the sentences, you can use your mouse or touchpad, yeah? All set, okay. Now how it looks like, okay, so you get seven minutes approximately for this complete the sentences yeah so here the best option or maybe the missing word is given in multiple choice uh, words or uh, uh, gaps okay and this is the passage so for example this is just an example passage okay so one day john uh, was rewiring his house he had revived revived one outlet when because of a mistake he blew a dash he was dashed to save money by fixing. Uh, what is your question, Shruti? You can, oh, you want me to slideshow, okay. It is entire screen I have shared with you. It is not visible, entire screen. Uh, no, ma'am, it's stuck on Duolingo question types. Oh, is it? Okay, fine. Let me do it again. Now, please, is it visible? Uh, no, ma'am, it's not. Um, can you just like unshare and share the entire screen? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. Good, Shruti, you told me. Okay, I'm sharing it again. Is it visible? The full screen is visible? Can you just make it full screen once? Yeah, yeah, it is full screen only. Oh, then it's not visible. And I also, um, it's also a slideshow. And yeah, is it fine? Or you are not able to see the current screen? Uh, we can just, yeah, we can see the screen. We can see the PPT, but it's not in a full screen version. Now? Uh, no, ma'am. Just give me a second. I'll share the screen. Okay. Yeah. You want me to try again, Shloka? Uh, no, ma'am. I'll just I'll share it. Just okay. let me know when uh, the slide is to be changed. I'll change it. Okay, fine. So, I'm on slide... Uh, eight. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the inconvenience.
so students those who have joined who were there last entire week can i just uh, can you just raise your hands or maybe you can just put it in the chat okay uh, shloka is sharing the screen here shloka i was on uh, slide 8 yeah uh yes thank you so much okay so uh, is screen visible to all of you now okay thanks that week and thanks for i mean bearing and for your patience okay thank you so shall we move ahead uh, shloka can you uh, make it a slide show and full screen Uh, earlier page is loka yeah same page so uh, full you want me to share uh, shruti i'm it is in full screen i just yeah but uh, that's like uh, this is the maximum Yeah, I think I can do this. Zoom in if you. Okay. Anyways, guys, the screen is visible to you. Yeah. Yeah, but it is uh, not a full screen, right? For all. Okay. No worries. No worries. So uh, let's. Uh, it's a full screen. Perfect. Fine. So. Uh, so let's just go back okay so we are on the slide 8 we are talking about how the question looks like yeah so uh, as i said interactive complete the sentences so here you will be given some options of the words you have to put it in a right uh, 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 gap okay so there are gaps given here now as i said these are not separate sentences those are connected with each other you just have to read it completely you cannot say that this is a word will fit okay so yeah and it is very small passages it is not like ilts too lengthy passages okay can we move on to the next slide please okay see here it is given like if you read this uh, so we are going getting into the practice part now okay so this is the activity for you uh, and let don't worry okay it doesn't matter whether you are getting correct answer or whether you are getting wrong answer it is just to make you understand how it looks like and it doesn't matter even if you make any mistakes here it is just to, to give, give you feel about the test and what kind of passages you get okay so select the best option for the missing words here so i'm reading out the passages i'm explaining you what exactly you need to think about it and do so there has been there have been a lot of scientific studies into what makes a friendship it seems today that okay now from this you have to find out whether the person or maybe what is anticipating or what is coming ahead okay so whether it is a thought whether there is any idea whether is there any imagination creative creativity or mindset okay now it could be confusing but it will come with the practice don't worry okay so from one of this you have to choose best option here yeah of what friendship is are also changing okay so full stop next sentence so this sentence ends here okay so for this after that you have to check out what is the right word will fit here okay whether it is thoughts ideas imagination creativity mindset etc then it is a second sentence or dash then again information change study title uh future okay so these are the options from that you have to choose the right word okay so a dash in 1993 at the university of oxford again there is a gap here okay that people could only maintain 150 relationship so here is the full stop okay now here when it comes to ox after oxford you have to choose the right word whether it is created made did showed took etc okay of its social media 
now next sentence is after relationships however with the dash investigation paperwork plan environment explosion so again from this you have to choose the right idea here of social media since then many people again there is a dash now yesterday tomorrow uh, and once and then have over 300 people who they think as a friend okay sorry it is ago not and so it is ago so 300 people who they think as friends now here you have to find out the right option here so shall we do this activity or do you want me to give one example okay let's let's do one example here so that next two activities we will do together okay can you go to the next slide please okay now i had given you some options were given in that bracket right thought idea mindset etc yeah study and all so now from that word you have to choose the correct option now how it is there have been a lot of scientific studies into what makes a friendship it seems today that ideas of what friendship is are also changing a study in 1993 at the University of Oxford showed that people could maintain 150 relationships. However, with the explosion of social media since then, many people now have over 300 people who they think of as friends. So here, if we just go back to the earlier slide, so there was a options given here. So from those options, you have to choose the right word. So thoughts, ideas. So here it is, ideas. Okay. Then here it is, uh, a study. Yeah. So this is how. Next slide, please. Okay. So got it? How to do this? All clear so far? Okay. We'll move on to the next slide, please. Okay. Now here, practice question. So shall we do this? Yeah, it's very simple. So you have to choose the right option which is given in the bracket. So we arrive in Germany late at night after a long journey by coach and boat. I was tired and dashed. We dashed into the school hall where the host dashed were waiting to meet us. I wonder which one would be. Then again, there is a gap. Would they give me dinner at this time? And would I be able to dash the unfamiliar food? Okay. So options are given here. So from this, you have to choose the right option. Your time starts now. Kindly please or uh, kindly put the correct answer in a chat box. Okay. So please put your answer in chat box. Yeah, your time starts now. Kindly put the correct option here. Is anyone trying? Because I can't see any answers in a chat box. Okay. Thank you, Bharat. Okay. Anyone else? Good. That way, good to see you here again. went made okay anyone else well try guys people okay
ओके सागर ओके टू टू वॉट सागर लाइक सी इन टू देर आर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन गिवन लाइक मेड वेन टू डेड वॉच सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दैट ओके मेड ओके माइन फाइन फाइव ईच ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एंड चेक अवर चेक द आंसर प्लीज okay so well then so first is hungry we arrived in germany late at night after a long journey by coach and boat i was tired and hungry okay now see here like sometimes you will get confused like we went into the school yeah so according to that maybe you will find it what exactly but you need to check the right word here okay so we went into the school hall where the host uh, families okay so now next third is the families were waiting to meet us i wonder which one would be mine yeah so fourth option is mine would they give me dinner at this time and would i be able to eat the unfamiliar food because they have reached to germany so was not sure about whether they will get an indian food or not okay so well then guys those who have mentioned given your answers so we are moving on to the next slide with one more activity similar to this okay then after that we are moving on to the next type of uh, question and activity yeah so same way so globalization has affected most aspects of our lives one area which has so there are options given here look change so went decided is education more and more people move to different countries okay so again options are given here for up in over by you have to choose the correct option here their studies at the same time more people stay at dash so again you have to choose the correct word nature environment home cafe shop you can also uh, check the answers okay and you can put the correct options in a chat box and study by distance learning it is now dash so options given easy green angry sad thirsty to learn without attending a college or university or attending less dash so there are options given always never often sometimes usually blended learning means studying a partly in a traditional way in the classroom and partly online or via email so yeah you are so excited to give your answers yes definitely that will save our time also so that we can cover and it will help you to understand in a better way so this is very simple types of questions okay to for whom okay gautam okay easy okay usually okay hi laya good to see you okay if you have missed something just go through the recordings and handouts yeah okay often so yeah we'll quickly check the answers can we move on to the next slide please okay so here are the options those who have given correct options well done globalization has affected most aspects of our lives one area which has changed is education more and more people move to different countries for their studies so right option is for at the same time more people stay at home and study by distance learning it is now easy to learn without attending a college or university or attending less often blended learning means studying partly in a traditional way in the classroom and partly online by or via email okay so this is how the type of question you get with the paragraph is very simple very short options will be given so you have to choose the right options okay shall we move ahead on the next slide please okay now complete the passage yeah just next slide please now how it is what are the tips you have to follow follow here complete the passage 
and uh, ask you to select the best sentence to fill the blank okay now so far we have just uh, we put the right word okay now you have to put the entire statement now how we got a different options there different words there so here you will get different sentences okay in this task you will see two sections of a passage with a miss missing sentence in the middle so not necessary it is ending sentence so between two statements you have to find out or between two passages okay important points what you need to do is read the passage completely understand each section what is how it is connected that passage one i mean one statement to another statement and then choose the right option again it is from the writer's point of view, not what you pay. But yes, you have to choose the best option. Next slide, please. Okay. How it looks like? See, this is the passage here. Okay. So uh, one day it is quite difficult to read it out from there. Okay. I'll read it from my end. From here. Just a second. Okay, so one day John was reviving. Okay, he had revived one of his outlet when, because of a mistake, he blew fuse. He was trying to save money by fixing few things around the house himself. So he started up again after replacing the fuse. He revived another outlet but blew another fuse. Then there is a gap. It looks like there is a gap. So this is how you get the question type. Okay, so there is a gap. However, he couldn't figure out what he had done wrong. Other, uh, after flipping the uh, breaker switch several times, he finally switched it off. The next day, he found a qualified electrician to do the work for him. Now here, there are given some options. Okay, so you have to choose the right options here. Okay, shall we move to the next, please? Next slide. Okay, so that was the type of example I have given you here. Okay, so now let's check out how the question is. So there have been a lot of scientific studies into what makes a friendship. It seems today that ideas of what friendship is are also changing. A study in 1993 at the University of Oxford shows that people could maintain 150 relationships However, the explosion of social media since then, many people now have over 300 who they think as a friend. Now, after this, you have to write a complete sentence. Okay, so that there is a gap. Another change from the past that people don't say uh, in the place where they were born, they go to different cities and countries for education and jobs, people are in general more geographically mobile nowadays, okay? So we all know, we are almost busy on our gadgets. Now here there are options given, one, two, three, four. Yeah? Some people think that these friends are not real friends, but other believes that social media has helped us a lot to expand and keep our friendships because we have more time and opportunities. Second, as people get older, they sometimes also have less free time. Third option, young children often choose their friends because of convenience. For example, okay, people are so excited to give their answers. I'm happy. For example, they go to the same school. They live near each other or their parents are friends. And the fourth option is people who spend time with friends have fewer mental health problems and are generally okay so you have to find out the correct option which will be a meaningful which will connect to your earlier sentence and your next sentence okay so let's check out the answer here you can just put your answer then we'll check the what is the correct option for this passage so Gautam said one okay anyone else Can we have answers in chat box? Okay, can't see the PPT. Oh, now you can see, okay. 
okay so all of you can you see the ppt okay thanks shruti okay so uh, we'll move on to the next slide and check the answer can we move on to the next slide please yeah ma'am this has the answer for the okay, highlight okay one. already is a highlighted okay fine so yes those who are given given the first option yes gautam it's a correct option so some people think that these friends are not real friends but i do believe that social media has helped us to expand and keep up our friendships because we have more time and opportunities so similar activity we are doing now we'll move on to the next slide okay so quickly read the passage okay now if you see we are doing the same passage and there is a another added information but then you have to fill the statement here if you see when we did the earlier activity where, where where we put the words okay so it is the same passage and it is the next small passage is also in that continuation only so you have to choose the correct option here so kindly read the passage i think it is uh, is it readable to all of you or you want me to read it's okay fine thanks that way thanks ruti so read the passage okay and there are options given 1 2 3 4 no need to write the complete sentence you can just put the correct option in a chat box okay thank you bharat anyone else okay second again second option second again okay so shall we check the correct answer move on to the next slide okay so it is there suddenly i heard my name called and the name of my exchange partner okay vegetable summit now here if you see here okay if you see other options here okay they are not fitting like unfamiliar food and all of sudden the next passage starts about the pretty blonde girl stepped forward yeah so if you see i was 15 when i first went away from home okay so this sentence is not making any sense which is not connected with this okay what is the next uh, the first sentence of the next paragraph okay even if you see later that year bigit came to stay with me it is also not making any sense yeah if you see the fourth option they had two cats ping and ping and pong who sat on my lap as i looked into the fire in the evenings now if you see here why I, why in the tips part we have mentioned read the passage thoroughly okay and try to understand what statement is coming what is anticipating okay so these all three options are not appropriate answer but if you see the second option which is which making our two paragraphs or this is the sentence which is making two paragraphs meaningful okay yeah we'll move to the next slide okay now this is the questions okay so what you need to do here select the best sentence to fill the blank in the passage the same activity what we did right now okay so let's let's read the passage that small passage and let's answer what is the correct option here okay please put the correct number appropriate answer which is connecting 
two passages and which is making our entire passage meaningful okay any answer anyone is coming up with the answer okay number 4 Okay, anyone else? Okay, we'll check the answer here. Okay, shall we? Okay, so Gautam, you are right. The fourth option is the correct option. These changes also mean that there is no more interest in lifelong learning. The idea that we go on learning throughout. yeah you are welcome throughout our working lives and even into retirement so i hope till now you are very much clear about how the question type is okay so in the one first type of question you get words second type of questions you have to come write the entire statement okay shall we move ahead okay now highlight the answer next please next slide okay now what are the tips you need to follow here okay click and drag the next uh, text to highlight the answer to the question below you will see question on screen then you will find the highlight the answer within the passage okay again you have to be very careful while reading that once you highlight the text it will appear in your box below okay the question so you can read it in the context okay yeah we'll move on to the next slide please now how it looks like okay so yeah we'll just directly move on to the activity okay the type sorry 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 earlier slide please sorry yeah how the question look like this okay the type uh, the time for this question is approximately 4 and 1/2 minute and there will be two questions options will be given okay so for that particular passage you have to find out the right question yeah so yeah next slide we'll get into the activity okay so is it easy guys to do that can you do it on your own yes okay good tactic okay now just read the small paragraph here okay after reading there are two questions given so how many relationships can people maintain why do people go to different cities and countries now after reading this passage you have to choose the right question for this particular paragraph it doesn't matter whether you give wrong answer if you get right answer well done okay so let's do this so you have to find out the correct uh, question for this so if you see it is the same passage okay one fifty what is that what it i didn't get you okay anyone else okay okay we'll move on to the we'll check the answer here what is the right answer here okay so here if you see here see oxford showed that people could only maintain 150 relationship the people those who have given 150 is the right option okay and if you see how many relationship can a people maintain so 150 relationships okay and then why do people go to different cities and countries they go to different cities and countries for education and jobs okay so you have given two questions here from the passage you have to find out the right option for this okay clear 
or you can highlight the sentence because see, there is no time limit on your word or any constraint as such okay so if you can just mention 150 relationship that is also fine okay or if you write a complete sentence people could make could only mention 150 relationship that is also fine but the answer is like 150 the the core message should be very clear okay that is important so you cannot say oh, you cannot write only half part people could only mention so next should be there yeah that way okay so is it easy for education and job okay quickly move on to the next one okay let's do the activity here again so how did the writer feel after her long journey and what did bitit summit parents do so read the passage okay tired and hungry you are very quick see in the what we are just doing here the example or we are just trying out okay so without any preparation you are still getting the right answer so it's a really really good thing and if you do the practice you can imagine or you can make out how much score you will get okay tired and hungry okay okay let's let's check i think we have uh, okay tired and hungry so let's check the answer for this question well done so how did the writer uh, did the writer feel after a long journey so yes i was tired and hungry so this is the correct option and what did the bigger summit parents do so they held out their hands and said we'll come in in dutch land welcome to germany okay so yes so here it is they are they were smiling and welcoming okay you saw them smiling bharat well then okay you understood the feeling of her parents okay well then so yes shall we move ahead so the i think this is the last activity okay same thing you have to do because for each type of question we have mentioned three activities for you and we made it completely as a practice part so that you get hands on this kind of exercise okay again read the passage read the paragraph and give the correct option correct answer studying partly okay okay anyone else okay shall we check the answer it is so easy to get okay see now if you see what is blended learning okay so if you want you can give the explanation also okay so blended learning means studying partly in traditional way see why uh, gautam it is not a right answer but when it comes to studying partly okay it is mentioned how partly so one way is learning traditional way and other is like online so be more specific on it while giving your answer okay degrees see it is not like a ilts you have a word limit no more than three words no more than two words etc okay so you can write the complete sentence and for second why do many adults go back to college later in life life uh, because it is so easy to get a qualification without giving up work or disturbing disrupting family life okay so yes those who have got the correct answers well then guys this was the activity part which we were doing as what my colleague has already informed you so you can if you want you can upgrade it to your the membership which will give you more practice part you can do that okay shall we go on to the next slide please oh so here we are 
yes it's over ma'am yes so yeah much. thank you so much uh, my colleague will help you out if you have any questions or in type of questions also if you have any questions please go ahead and ask do not hesitate yeah yeah shloka please 